You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. We're trying to have a team's meeting, you fool. <laughs> Please refer to me as Britney Spears from now on. The Hands Forth Parish Council Committee Zoom call meeting. Arguably the funniest Zoom call meeting to ever be documented. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the last video I uploaded on this channel was the funniest moments from the Zoom call meeting. Go away and watch that and come back. This video will make a lot more sense if you've seen it. Because in today's video, I'm going to be ranking each member of the committee in a tier list. The top tier, the prop officer, the head honcho of the group, the leader. Just below that we have the standing orderers. These people have come on this Zoom call to get stuff done and they will get stuff done. In the middle we've got the law abiders. These people have mainly come here just to make up numbers and are kind of sitting on the fence. Below that we've got muted. These people aren't bringing anything to the party. They've turned up with no booze. Why are you here? Pointless. And at the very bottom we've got no authority, pretty much what it says on the tin. You're speaking, no one's listening. Kicking this off we've got the chairman, and that name may deceive you, because I'm sticking him in no authority, and I'll explain why. The guy straight from the jump was moving mad. Way too close to the camera, and the guy's voice was just way too soft for me. Even when he was having a go at Weaver for interrupting him and talking over him, he still had the inside voice. Doesn't scream authority at all. Standing orders of Hanforth, but will you stop talking? At the end of the day, the guy got removed from the call. That's like back in the day when I was in school, me sending the teacher out for five minutes. You don't see it. He came in the call all guns blazing and he left crying like a baby. If you're watching this, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> Weaver schooled you, son. That brings me nicely on to the next person, a Jackie Weaver. And I think we can kind of guess where Weaver's going. Straight up into proper officer. i tell you why. A jet button on deck. She just kicked him out. She had the confidence to crack jokes after the eject button had been used not once, but twice. Please refer to me as Britney Spears from now on. When her back was up against the wall, she stayed cool, calm and collected, and then she bust back with a load of dominance. So all I'm saying is, Weaver, we salute you. You are a true icon. Get yourself up at the top, babe. Next is Alfred's iPad. I'm pretty sure that's how I pronounce it. This guy, it's hard because I want to hate him, but I can't. When it was a bit of a sticky one still, him and Johnny back and forth creasing. They were there for a good time and a good time only. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was on complete smoke. Weaver, he showed no respect. Cynthia, he had a go at her for being from Birkenhead. Lucky Weaver, I find that uh, the person on Alec Brewerton's uh, Zoom is being very disrespectful to everybody. Oh, coming from you from Birkenhead, that sounds good. And his son was screaming like Gollum, and he just creased at him. And he doesn't care, he does what he wants. <laughs> If I go on how much he contributed to the Zoom call, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to stick him in muted because Weaver dashed him off as well. Right, next, Peter Moore. If I'm honest, Peter was just annoyed from the jump. Peter has got a lot of bad energy. He's not happy with a lot of people. He didn't crack a smile once. The chairman, right away, he was disgusted. I, if I can quote him, He's an absolute disgrace. Rich coming from the chairman who hasn't held a meeting since March to try, to try and call this one illegal. The yeah. man is a complete disgrace. I'm going to put him in law abiders just for the passion. The guy does care. I can't stick him in muted because the guy had the statistics to back his argument. Next, the so-called vice chairman. I don't like this guy. If I'm guessing how tall he is, I'm saying just over five foot. Little man syndrome galore. What he needs to do, instead of Zoom calling the boys trying to get the council sorted, he needs to go to anger management. Illegally. They now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. Do you know when you go on a night out and you wake up and you're like, oh, I've really embarrassed myself last night. I told seven people I love them. He's going to wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I look like such an idiot. And to make things worse, his dad was on a violation. He's getting all serious. <laughs> and I can only assume it is his dad. He's laughing in his face. He does not care. <laughs> After all this, all I can say is, he called the chairman and they cried on FaceTime for an hour. And so for that, I'm sticking you with no authority next to your boy. 
because I'm sorry, but you got nothing going, man. Next, Sue. Also could be the queen. Still don't know. She's a woman who is not afraid to speak her mind. Love that. Could I ask you to be to be respectful to Jackie Weaver, please. She's got Weaver's back through the whole thing, which is a huge advantage, because we all know she's topped on. So you grab onto that long enough, she will take you to the top, baby. And to be fair to her, she genuinely gave some structure and some good points to the Zoom call. And so for that, you've earned your place in the standing orderers. You're not quite top tier, but trust me, you're above average. Also, she kind of reminds me of my nan, which is always a win. Next is Cynthia, bit of a B-Tech version of Sue. She hasn't quite got the confidence for dance to come across like Sue, but I feel as if she thinks the same. But the reason why I can't stick her in the same tier as Sue is because of the violation she got for being from Birkenhead. To be fair to her, she dealt with it well, and I feel as if she had the manpower behind her to clap back, but I feel as if Sue probably would have snapped back. So for that, she's going in the law abiders. Next, we've got Johnny Smith. This guy had a very rocky star. He was nearly going down the bad path with Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel as if as it went, he reeled it back in, showed some authority, and did get a lot of stuff done. A bit of a womanizer as well. The gal them do love a bit of Johnny. And overall, I think he's a man of the people. A little bit of a cheeky chappy. But at the same time, when he wants to get serious, he can. Also, massive point. Here's the reason why this has gone viral. Can we make this recording available? At the end of the Zoom call, he was the only one asking for this. Like, he knew... We need this video. We're about to be famous, baby. If you combine all of that, Johnny has earned himself a spot in a standing order. Us. Got a lot done, did take control when he had to, but he can't really be at the top due to that start with Alfred. Next is Julie's iPad. This woman's gonna go down in history and that's a fact. She doesn't care where she is. What's that? My Iceland order's at the door. Hang on one second, come in. Um, yeah, I'm just in a meeting at the moment. Can I give you a call back when it finishes? Even though this is the most viral video of 2021, phone call, way more important. And also what I do like, no webcam, no face, no case. This woman could be anyone and you'll never know. She's like a superhero, behind the mask. Or she doesn't know how to turn the camera on. Uh, either or, I still love her. So I'm gonna put her in the law abiders. If I'm honest, that's a push, because she gave nothing. It was just a phone call did it for me. I think it's hilarious. So, middle part in, Julie, beautiful. I meant to say middle table, but we're gonna roll with it. Next is Barry. I don't know if I like Barry. He gave me a lot very early on, because he was literally facing the wrong way. So, oh, you can't see Jackie Weaver. Like, he started off like facing this way. The guy's a maniac. I imagine Barry, had a few drinks before the Zoom call, head twisted, doesn't even know where the camera is. That's the only explanation I can give. Barry didn't keep up with what was going on. The guy's screaming, we've got a chairman. Where's the chairman? What are you saying about the chairman? Where's the chairman? He had no idea that we had ejected him. So if you're not keeping up with what's going on, I can't rank you highly, so Barry, I'm sticking you on muted, mate. Because that's all you're good for. The only reason he's not right at the bottom, because he did get a bit feisty. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. Next is Roger. And for me, Roger just didn't give enough. He's more of an extra. Like, if he was in a film, he'd just be sweeping up. He wouldn't even have any lines. The only thing he really did was add a member of the public to the Zoom call, who got a few more laughs than him anyway. So if anything, he's added someone and then been outshone by him, which is never a good sign. So for that, I'm going to have to put him in muted. I don't care if I don't hear him speak, but I can't stick him with the chairman. He does deserve more than that. So muted, that's fair. Next is Alan, brought in by Roger. Uh, I mean, he got a few laughs, Sue and Cynthia all over it. I didn't realise I was disruptive. I was being <laughs> muted. How can I be disruptive when I'm muted? You're always disruptive. <laughs> I feel as if because he wasn't allowed in from the start, he didn't really have time to shine. Weaver didn't give him the chance. Uh, so I think if he had had a bit more time, he could have progressed in my eyes. But yet again, he didn't bring enough. So for that and that only, brother, you're gonna have to join your mate in Muted. Next is Ian Ball. I don't trust this guy, man. He was very sly right from the start. Stirring the pot with the chairman when we all know he had the chairman on hold and he was telling the chairman everything people were still saying about him. He's that sort of guy. He makes out like he doesn't like him, but we know, we know what you're doing, mate. And also he asked probably the deadest question of the whole Zoom call, which nearly put me to sleep. Before the chairman um, departed from the meeting, 
I noted that uh, his label on his video said clerk of Hanforth Parish Council. Um, could anyone please clarify how that came about and whether that is in fact the case right now? So, he's going and muted. He didn't bring anything to the table, but he sort of took away, yeah? Like, he's come for dinner, he sat down, and he said, oh, can I take that food in a doggy bag? Like, he's taken away. Right, and finally, David. You're not my cup of tea, my friend. He was the one who didn't even want this to happen. So if he had got his own way, this Zoom call would have never surfaced. We never would have seen it. And I don't like that. Not one bit. I think if this goes viral on the um, on the internet or Facebook, whatever, um, it's going to start a war of words. He doesn't want to smoke, and pretty much everyone else in a Zoom meeting did want to smoke. So I think I'll talk on their behalf. We're going to stick him in no authority, next to the vice chairman and the chairman. Them three can have a little link up. That's calm. That is the end of the video. Here's what the final tier list looks like. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with my decision or if you'd like to move anyone up or down. I would like to hear. If you don't already, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like rating, follow me on Instagram. I'll see you all next week. Safe.